So it seems like the official Wuthering Waves release for the PS5 is going to be out very, very soon. If you've been on this channel quite a bit, then you've probably seen me talking about the Wuthering Waves PS5 version, which is set to come out very soon. With the Wuthering Waves Twitter account actually leaving a post saying we're excited to announce the PS5 version of Wuthering Waves is now officially in development, we'll provide updates on the official launch time of the PS5 version in the future. And then they pretty much kind of left us in the dark about it. They didn't give us any kind of like date that is going to be out or any details about it actually coming to PlayStation. But it seems that we've actually gotten a ton more information, which could actually point towards an exact date that we're going to see this coming out. So in this video, we're going to be going through all of that from when exactly the PlayStation version is coming out to what the PlayStation version for Wuthering Waves is actually going to do for the community and how it will help Kuro games out in the future. But before I get into this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy it. And also go over to Gamers Ups, use my code Kazo, where you can get yourself 10% off a ton of cups and tubs. I definitely recommend you guys go check that out. They've got a ton of really cool stuff. And yeah, let's get back into the video. So recently there was this post from Narashio saying that Kuro Games has officially included the PS5 in the list of supported platforms for Wuthering Waves. This could indicate an announcement regarding the PlayStation's launch day. So again, this was actually at the Tokyo Game Show 2024. And yeah, as you can see here, it says Exhibition Area Kuro Games, with the exhibit title being Wuthering Waves and then PS5, PC, iOS, Android. So it seems like they are trying to include this new platform quite a bit. Obviously, PS5 is actually listed first. Now, they may just be doing a little bit of advertisement whenever it comes to the PS5 version because we have have seen this at other game shows too like the shanghai one where the game was pretty much finished on the playstation to be fair looking back at the footage and i will play some as i talk throughout this video it does look very very smooth and it seems like wuthering waves have pretty much already completed the playstation version for the game but it's just whenever it's going to come out and i think the big issue is actually you know getting it through sony and sony you know accepting it but it is very exciting to see them talking about it quite a lot now, I said earlier in this video that we could actually have an official date for whenever this is actually going to come out. And this actually corresponds with the Tokyo Game Show. If you don't know, the Tokyo Game Show is a massive show that goes on in Japan, where it showcases off a lot of different games, including gacha games like Wuthering Waves. And as the listing suggests here, Wuthering Waves is actually going and promoting their PS5 version, which, which could actually hint that the game's coming out during the Tokyo Game Show, which is from the 26th to the 29th of September, which is going to be very exciting to see. And also Ryuku said this as well. As you know, Ryuku is well versed in everything to do with Japan. Obviously, he lives over there and speaks it and stuff. So again, it's just amazing to see him talking about this stuff. He says, well, anyways, PS5 release is more than likely going to be officially announced at the end of the month at Tokyo Game Show. It has PS5 listed under the supportive platforms. I'll let you all know on the day. I'll be the first one at that booth to find out. So Ryuku's actually going to be going to this booth in Tokyo. Obviously, again, we're going to have some really quick news, I guess, about, you know, what's actually going on. And it will be very interesting to see if they actually do release it then, because, again, tons of people have been waiting for this version. Because as I mentioned a lot of times in previous videos, the PS5 version for Wuthering Waves could really be a game changer, especially for the community. Currently, Wuthering Waves is out on PC, iOS, and Android, which, again, is a pretty good, you know, plethora of platforms. A lot of people mainly play it on PC, just mainly because of the overall graphical intensity of it. Obviously, we also got the 120 FPS as well, which it improves graphics way more and it seems like a lot of people are going to be enjoying it more on PC rather than mobile which is a little bit strange thing as a lot of gacha games usually do get played on mobile especially by a lot of people in China China is a massive massive consumer whenever it comes to gacha games and a lot of these people play it on mobile that's why a ton of games including like Azure Lane, Fake Go and stuff like that have very very simple designs because they want it to run on a lot of phones but whenever you've got games like Wuthering Waves, Genshin Impact, even Honkai Star which have very graphically intense kind of you know visuals it's going to be harder for some with like an entry level phone to actually be able to play this and it does kind of exclude a lot of people but also this can be fixed by the addition to you know platforms like playstation where if you can't afford maybe a pc and maybe a good phone maybe you've got something like a ps5 which could actually run it which again i think will be very exciting and as i was talking about with the 120 fps 2 i think this is actually going to be available on the ps5 as well maybe not straight away but i think one of the main you know features of a ps5 is that it can do 120 fps if you want it to which again will be very very good for Wuthering Waves if they can actually get that going and it's just really exciting to see that we're going to have a ton of new you know players coming over. I've also mentioned before that you know this is going to be featured on the PlayStation Store meaning that we could get a ton of new players coming over as well. I don't know if any of you guys remember but you know back in the PS4 kind of PS3 days you'd spend time just you know scrolling through all the free games on the PlayStation Store and Wuthering Waves is going to be one of them and obviously it's a good game in the first place so people are going to pick it up even non-gacha players which it's going to be very cool, especially for a lot of the revenue and the player count. Now, it is a shame that the mobile revenue chart, which we get every month, you know, the Getcha PvP, only takes into account mobile revenue. So we're not going to be able to see how well it does in comparison to other games, especially when the PS5 version comes out. And I think that's where Wuthering Waves is overly disadvantaged anyways, because as I said, it's harder to run Wuthering Waves on a mobile device 
So a lot of people just choose not to play it on there, which obviously means less revenue because less people are playing it on mobile. But as I was saying, PS5 does open up a lot of doors for a lot of new players and also just current players as well, because many of them may play it on mobile at the moment. Maybe, you know, they've got an all right phone and it's running pretty bad. But again, they love the game so much that they keep playing it. Well, now they can actually switch over to their PS5 and play it on there and have a much smoother experience and enjoy the game which again, I just think is great. And it does include a lot more people. Now, obviously we can see that the PS4 isn't listed on here. So it means that this will probably be PS5 exclusive only. Now, do I think that's a bad thing? Probably not because the PS4 is now a very outdated kind of console. It would be cool to see it because it would generate even more players with PS4s. But at the same time, I think it's much easier for Kuro Games to focus on one console so they can perfect it. And maybe if they want to move on to stuff like the PS4 or even Xbox or something like that, then they can do so. And I definitely think that, you know, expanding out to as many consoles as possible would be great. Now, as for other consoles, I don't think we're going to see Wuthering Waves coming to, you know, like the Nintendo Switch or anything, just purely because of Nintendo's relationship with a lot of Chinese games. Obviously, Genshin Impact has been trying to get it on there for ages, and it still hasn't happened, and I don't think it's going to happen at all. And that's mainly down to the reason I just mentioned. So that is kind of disappointing, but it is really great to see it's coming out on other consoles. And maybe in the future, we can see the addition to stuff like Steam as well. As we've seen with like Honka Impact 3rd, I'm pretty sure they added it to Steam and some other games they added to Steam as well, which I don't know if Wuthering Waves would benefit from it, but it would be very interesting to see how it does. And I just see Wuthering Waves coming out to other platforms as kind of just a net positive anyways. So yeah, I'm very excited for this to come out to PS5. Obviously, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens at the Tokyo Game Show. Are they gonna announce anything? I think we should expect some more announcements as well, not just from Wuthering Waves, maybe from some other games that are attending as well. Obviously, this is a massive show, so they want to show off and make their overall exhibits all about them. So obviously, announcing a massive update they at one of these events is going to bring them a lot of attention so maybe Kuro games have some more stuff up their sleeve other than the ps5 version but honestly i'd be quite satisfied with the ps5 version being announced at the tokyo game show and yeah ryuku's gonna be going there so you know keep an eye on his page to see what's happening and obviously i'll keep you guys updated on everything that's going on with that as well and yeah this is just some very exciting news that i wanted to share and hopefully in the next week or so we'll all be playing on ps5 because i definitely think that we're going to be seeing something happening over here but yeah let me know down in the comments what you guys think do you think that the ps5 is going to be helpful for weathering ways or do you think it's actually going to inhibit it and you know it's going to be much more slow for them to get out updates especially across platforms some people did have those concerns so yeah i'm just interested in what you guys think and do you think it's going to be coming out even at the tokyo game show or do you think we're going to be waiting even longer for it to come out but yeah that's about all i got for this video if you did enjoy it, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also go to Game Subs, as I said, use my code Kazza where you can get yourself 10% off a ton of cups and subs. I definitely recommend going over there. They got some really cool stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. That's all. See ya.